Hey, what up, y'all? K.O. here. Man, I have had the most amazing time in Utah. I'm at Sundance right now, and I've had the most amazing time skiing. Wow. And funny enough, I've never skied before, and so I was a little nervous because all I hear is that you're going to spend most of the time on the ground. But you know, in the two and a half hours I was up there skiing in Sundance, I was up most of the time. I fell twice. You know, I got the hang of it, you know, the way you get up the hill, and it is a leg workout. Oh my goodness, I am still in pain, but, so yeah, it's awesome. Also, there's so much snow outside, you guys can see this, so much snow, <laughs> but yeah, I'm still loving it, y'all. Um, so I'm still reading that book by John Maxwell, uh, The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. And this part of the book brings up a really good point that you can have faith and, and courage to get somewhere, but you have to deal with the truest realities and the truest obstacles to overcome. Because if you don't know the things that you're going to have to deal with if you're trying to make your dream a reality, then you're only going to have dreams, no reality. Now, um, this part of the book brings up a story of these two guys. They're explorers. One guy is Robert Falcon Scott, and the other guy is Roald Amundsen. Now, both of them wanted to be the first to get to the South Pole, and they both felt that they had the courage and they had the faith to get there. However, the difference was Amundsen understood every single part of the journey, the realities that he was going to face with the cold and, and, and navigation, how to travel there effectively. Every single part he understood and prepared for adequately. But Scott did not do any of that. You could probably guess what happened. Amundsen got there perfectly fine. However, Scott and all of his people, they did get there, but on the way back, they all died. And that's only because, yes, he had the courage to be there, but a true leader will say, what is ahead? I have to project what's ahead, and I have to understand these realities I'm about to face. Now, you know, I know I don't go through life and death situations like that, and I'm sure a lot of you guys don't either. Or maybe you do. I'm not sure. However, I think we can definitely learn from this. You know, there's so many things that we all want to do. There's so many dreams. There's so many things where I'm like, oh yeah, you know what? I'll get there. I have faith I'm going to get there. But what now I know is that you just can't stop there. You, you got to say, okay, I believe I have the talents, the gifts, but what am I going to face? So do your research, you know, do your research, talk to people that might have already done the things that you want to do. So you kind of have an understanding because the resources that you, you gain to understand what you're going to face, it's going to make you that much better and you'll be able to overcome that much easier. So yeah, man, stay inspired and figure out how to take that inspiration and turn it into reality. I'm going to go skiing again right now. So peace.